Under the Liberals, MAID is set to expand in cases where mental illness is the sole underlying disorder effective March 17th. And today, a report of the Special Joint Committee on Medical Assistance in Dying was tabled in the House of Commons calling on the Liberal government to do what Conservatives have called on the Liberals to do all along, and that is to put a pause on this radical and dangerous expansion of MAID, a policy that would offer death instead of help and hope to persons who are suffering from mental illness. This is a looming deadline that we find ourselves with in terms of this report and this legislation set to take effect in essentially two months because the Liberals have made a complete mess of this matter. It is what happens when a government puts blind ideology ahead of evidence-based decision-making. The Liberals actually decided to move ahead with made in cases of mental illness before studying the issue, before engaging in consultation. They set an arbitrary timeline uh, for last year when this was to take effect. But what happened is that experts, including the chairs of psychiatry at all 17 medical schools in Canada, called on the Liberals to put a pause on this expansion of MAID, which was, again, set to take effect March of last year. Fortunately, the Liberal government did actually, for once, listen to the experts, and they did put a pause on this expansion for one year. During that period, our committee, the Special Joint Committee on Medical Assistance in Dying, heard from experts. And what the leading experts told our committee loud and clear is that the very issues that prompted them to call on the Liberals to put a pause on this expansion remain. Those two key issues, uh, there are more, but there are two fundamental issues. And the first is that it is difficult, if not impossible, to predict irremediability in cases of mental illness. In other words, it's not possible to accurately determine whether someone with a mental health issue will get better. And what that means is that persons who could get better, who could go on to lead a healthy and happy life, will have their life prematurely ended under the Liberals' made regime for mental illness. The second fundamental problem is that in cases of mental illness, it's very difficult for clinicians to accurately assess whether a request is a rational request or one motivated by suicidal ideation. That is underscored by the fact that in cases of suicide, 90% of such cases involve persons who have a diagnosable mental illness. So the bottom line is that this planned expansion cannot be implemented safely. Now, just because this committee has tabled a report calling on the Liberals to put a pause on this radical expansion of MAID, it's not binding. Uh, what the Liberals need to do is introduce legislation to put a pause on this expansion. And we believe the pause should be an indefinite one. The evidence is clear. It's time for the Liberal government, and particularly Arif Barani, the Minister of Justice, to follow the evidence, stop the madness, and forthwith introduce legislation to put a permanent pause on this expansion of made an expansion that if it goes ahead will result in some of the most vulnerable persons in Canadian society prematurely having their lives ended.